Hi everyone, this is Jayashree. We continue with the previous lecture. Uh, the different types of input signals we are discussing uh, for analyzing uh, time response analysis. The third type of input is uh, ramp input. Okay, So ramp input is uh, the, in the signal varies linearly with time. Okay, right. So here the input signal is uh, uh, RFT. So here the signal is increasing with respect to time. Okay. So the ramp input represents a linearly increasing input command. It is given by the formula R of t equals a into t. Here a is the slope. Okay. When t is greater than or equal to zero, when t increases, uh, that is uh, R of t increases uh, uh, linearly. Okay. When t is less than zero, value vanishes zero. If a equals 1, it is called a unit ramp. Okay. Uh, uh, when the magnitude is 1, it is called a unit ramp signal. Okay. If you take Laplace transform, that is L of R of T is R of S. That is A into T. If you take Laplace transform, it is A by S is squared. Okay. In case of unit ramp, uh, unit uh, ramp, you have a uh, R of S equals uh, 1 by S squared. 3 becomes 1. Systems are uh, subjected to ramp inputs when we need to study the system. Are subject to ramp inputs when we need to study the system for linear increasing functions like velocity. Okay. For uh, velocity and all, uh, we take uh, ramp uh, uh, signal as input. When we need to study the system for linear increasing functions like velocity. Okay. The next type of input we call it is parabolic input. So parabolic input, uh, see how uh, the signal is. It is a uh, it is, it is, uh, like a curve type of nature. Rate of change of velocity is acceleration. That is uh, uh, A squared. Okay, A is nothing but... Uh, uh, rate of change of uh, velocity. The acceleration is a parabolic function. It is given by the formula R of t equals a t squared by 2. T, uh, that is when t is greater than 0, uh, the equation is a t squared by 2. When t is less than 0, uh, the input signal becomes uh, vanishes uh, 0. Okay. Uh, for uh, uh, unit or parabolic input, the A value is 1. Okay. So here, R, if you take Laplace transform for R of t, sorry, R of t, that is L of R of t equals R of S equals A by S cube. In case of unit parabola, R of S equals 1 by S cube. Right. So see this graph. So here, R of t input uh, signal with respect to time. Right. And steady state response. Steady state response is a uh, mm, see, look into this uh, closed loop uh, feedback system. So, here R of S is the input signal, V of S is the output signal. Sorry. Uh, v of S is gain constant, H of S is a uh, feedback value. And this is hmm. so what is my transfer function? V of C of S by R of S equals. G of S divided by 1 plus D of S into H of S. See all more. Then what is steady state response? There are two types of response. Steady state response and transient response. Okay. Steady state response, the response to the system when it reaches uh, uh, steady state. Okay. Uh, at the time infinity, the state of the system, we call it a steady state. At infinite time, the system becomes stable. So that is the concept. The steady state response is that part of the output response where the output signal remains constant. So, so the output becomes constant. Sorry. The parameter that is uh, important in the steady state response is the steady state error. Steady state error is represented by ESS. Error in, uh, error in general is the difference between the input and the desirable output. Okay. So, what type of output we need uh, that is desirable, okay? So, what is my error? 
the difference between input signal and the desirable output is my error okay steady state error is a error at time t equals infinity when at time t equals infinity suppose the system uh, should be uh, in stable state if it is not stable then the difference we call it as an error ess so the formula is limit t tends to infinity error by derivation of formula steady state error what is my a E S S equals a limit uh, S tends to 0, S into uh, R of S divided by 1 plus uh, G of S into H of S. Okay. Thanks for watching. Thank you. We will continue in the next lecture.